Hello everyone, uh, my name is Missy Matoka to Masanga Unutoa, and I'm a first year here at Whittier College. For me, coming from an out-of-state point of view, it was uh, pretty difficult for me at first. Um, coming from Hawaii, going to California, transitioning the environment, the people, uh, and how fast-paced California was, it was pretty difficult for me to handle at first. Um, but eventually you get used to it with the environment that uh, Whittier has. Um, it's really engaging for students to, you know, get to know one another. And for me personally, I uh, got to connect with my other Hawaii locals who were there at the college as well. Um, it was a really nice experience, you know. Uh, I was born in Torrance, California, and I came back to Whittier um, just to get the feel of it, how California was after maybe about 10 to 15 years I've been away. Everyone at Whittier um, welcomes you with open arms, and I really, truly enjoyed that when I first came. I am a uh, student living on campus in Turner Residence Hall. You are choosing your housing based off the, based off of the housing application which uh, pretty much pairs you up with other students with the same um, you know, schedule, your daily routine, how that works out. Uh, but for me personally, I lived in Johnson my first semester at Whittier College. It, I lived in a triple dorm. Really nice experience, met people from Texas and California. And then I moved over to Turner Residence Hall, which I became a, um, a host, an admissions host. So for you students wondering, maybe I want to get more of that experience on campus. Maybe I want to get that feel of, you know, if I were to live on campus, the life, you know, waking up, going to class, coming back home and studying. Uh, if the college were to go back to regular uh, the traditional way you know of living on campus and whatnot because of the whole COVID-19 situation. I'd love to have you folks. Um, there are male and female hosts so if any of you freshmen are interested in maybe staying a night over enjoying the full poet experience feel free to do so by contacting the Office of Admissions. I'm a 3-2 engineering physics major with a mathematics minor. Um, for you folks wondering how to choose your major or minor, uh, you would do that with the office, uh, the registrar's office. You would uh, declare your major, usually your second year at Whittier College, so your sophomore standing, and then you would declare your major. Um, usually the first year, a lot of students like to play around with the classes to see what they're interested in. Um, I know it takes quite some time for you to develop uh, your interests uh, to choose your major. Um, for me personally, being an engineering major and for you students interested in taking the engineering major as well, uh, it is pretty accelerated. Um, it is difficult, so for you folks, not to scare you, but to motivate you as well during these uh, uncertain times. And as far as choosing your minor, um, you don't need to choose a minor, however, if you do want a minor in a certain subject area, so for me personally, I am a mathematics minor, um, it really just depends on uh, your interests and how you want to um, you know, follow through the process throughout your four years at Whittier College. It all depends. And when you first come to Whittier College, you are assigned an advisor, so um, you would you know, schedule office hours with them. You would discuss with them maybe the certain majors you're interested in, the minors, the classes you would need to take for that, um, and so on and so forth. So students, uh, please be aware, you don't need to know what major or minor you want to major in or what you want to do when you first come to Whittier College. Uh, just take it pretty slow at first, coming from a first year student. Uh, take time to you know really get to know your professors, know the content, keep studying over the overall environment of school just you know just to get yourself situated uh pretty easily uh whittier college is in the los angeles county area and there are many restaurants and um little shop uh, mom and pop shops to do uh around the surrounding campus so i know we have boba being from hawaii i'm such a big boba fanatic uh, we have chillin which is our boba place we have the Starlight Cinemas for students to go to the movies. Uh, there are discounts for movie tickets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then we have some Hispanic restaurants, you know, diners. I know we have um, Rocky's Diner, uh, really, you know, American kind of like burgers and fries and whatnot for you students to go on the weekends and enjoy yourselves. The diversity at Whittier College, very diverse campus. Uh, I've met so much 
different people, different races, ethnicities, of uh, being of Samoan descent, I was able to um, share my experiences and culture and traditions with other students. Um, I know I was a part of the political science class, uh, Model United Nations, and uh, I know Isabella was, and Zoe were in that class with me as well. I got to know more people, different ethnic backgrounds, religions, and it's just really cool to see other people from around the world, especially, you know, to get to meet them. So for you folks, freshmen wondering um, if Whittier is right for me, I'd say that Whittier College has um, done justice for me for the first year. Um, has really catered to my um, needs and wants for this school year. One of the best classes I've taken, uh, if you folks are wondering as well, um, I think Professor Seamus Lagin's class, um, physics, electromagnetic physics, and his mechanics class first year. Um, it was such an amazing experience as well. Um, being an engineering major, he really tries to help students, you know, get to know the content. Um, physics is <laughs> not an easy class to, to take. I know a lot of students feel as engineering majors are pretty hard. Um, but then again, as I had stressed before, uh, meeting with your advisor, um, especially meeting with the professors, getting that one-on-one -on -one contact is another thing too that with your um, caters to students, you get that one-on-one -on -one contact with your professor. Um, you get to know them, know the content. Again, uh, our students to faculty ratio is pretty small. So student class sizes aren't as big. Um, our biggest class size, however, is about 100 students and that's our humanities courses, such as sociology, psychology, um, all those sorts of classes. I guess that's it for me um, on my end. Um, hopefully you folks are all safe and your families are safe. Um, you folks are doing well. Um, then again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I wish you all the best and thank you very much for tuning in. Bye-bye.